Well, hi everyone. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday encouragement. We're glad to have you with us today. And we're going to talk about breaking things in our devotion today. But before we get to that, I want to remind you that Grad Sunday is coming up June 4th. If you attend Cherry Avenue and you're graduating from high school or college this year, we want to know so we can honor you. Just call the office or email us with your information so we can have that. And make plans to have your kids here for Vacation Bible School. Uh, we're excited to have VBS back, and we're going to do it a little differently. It's going to be Friday evening, June 23rd, Saturday morning, the 24th, and then Sunday morning, the 25th, during the worship service. The kids are going to have a great time with music, story, science, fun, and a lot more. Registration is going to be starting really soon, so be watching for that. Well, one of my wife's and my great joys is having our great nieces come for the weekend. A few months ago when they were visiting, one of them said, Aunt Christy, you used to have a lot of snow globes, but now you only have a couple. What happened to them? <laughs> well, the truth is, she happened to them, along with her sisters. Uh, they didn't mean to. In fact, they'll tell you that right after they break something. I, I didn't mean to do it, and they didn't. But that doesn't put the broken glass back together. And basic math says that when you had seven or eight, and five or six of them break, you only have a couple left. After one particular time I heard I didn't mean to do it, I thought of the Apostle Paul when he said in Romans 7, I don't really understand myself, for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. I want to do what is right, but I can't. I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. Can you hear yourself in that? I can. I don't want to lose my temper. In fact, I work at staying calm. But then something sets me off, and I do it. I don't want to be critical. I try to be positive, but the next thing I know. I don't mean to be selfish. I try to think of others, but then I fall right back into it again. I didn't mean to break the snow globe, but it's kind of depressing, isn't it? But here's the thing. No matter how many things they break, I still love them. Just like my parents and grandparents still loved me when I broke their china and the riding lawnmower and my brother. Well, his hand anyway. It's okay, though. He got me back. A couple years later, I hit him and broke my hand. Okay, maybe that's not the best example. In the end, their love for me always overwhelmed their disappointment at losing whatever I broke or the money they had to spend on ER visits. Even my brother seems to have moved on. Then again, he was too young to remember it. And God is the same way. The very next passage, after Paul laments how he keeps on committing the very sins he wants to stop, he gladly declares, thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. God's love for us was so much stronger than his hatred of our sin that he stepped down from heaven and took our punishment so we could have forgiveness, whether we meant to do it or not. As long as we're repentant, he forgives. I ended up getting the girls' snow globe kits and let them make their own snow globes the next time they visited. They had a lot of fun with them, and they were beautiful. And before they could even get to the van to leave that weekend, you guessed it, one of them got broken. But hey, they didn't mean to do it. 